हेलो स्टूडेंट गुड मॉर्निंग आई एम डॉक्टर अजय कुमार सिन्हा प्रोफेसर ऑफ केमिस्ट्री टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू स्टार्ट ग्रुप एटीन एलिमेंट्स लास्ट क्लास आई ए फिनिश्ड ग्रुप सेवेंटीन एलिमेंट्स ग्रुप एटीन एल ग्रुप एटीन कंसिस्ट ऑफ सिक्स एलिमेंट्स हीलियम न्योन आर्गन क्रिप्टन जेनन एंड रेडन अगेन आई एम टेलिंग यू ग्रुप एटीन कंसिस्ट ऑफ सिक्स एलिमेंट्स हीलियम न्योन आर्गन क्रिप्टन जेनन एंड रेडन All these are gases and chemically unreactive. They form very few compounds. Because of this, they are termed noble gases. Now, I want to discuss occurrence. All the noble gases, except radon, occur in the atmosphere. Radon, radon is exception, or it is radioactive element. Their atmospheric abundance in dry air is one percent, by volume of which argon is the major constituent. Helium and sometimes neon are found in minerals of radioactive origin. helium and sometimes neon are found in minerals of radioactive origin as for example pitch blende monazite clay white the main commercial source of helium is natural gas xenon and radon are the rarest element of the group Radon is obtained as a decay product of radium, two twenty six. Mass number is two twenty six. Then radium on decay it gives radon plus helium. Radon radium atomic number is eighty eight. Mass number two twenty six, and on decay it gives radon. Radon Atomic number is eighty six and mass number is two twenty two. Plus helium, helium you know, mass number is two, uh, mass number is four, atomic number two. Now I want to tell uh, atomic and physical properties of group eighteen elements. First I will. Discuss about atomic number. Helium atomic number is two. For neon it is ten. Argon eighteen. Krypton thirty six. Xenon fifty four, and uh, radon eighty six. Atomic mass. Atomic mass gram per mole. Then helium atomic mass is four, and uh, for neon it is twenty point one eight. Argon thirty nine point nine five forty you can tell. Krypton eighty three point eight zero eighty four you can tell. Xenon one thirty one point three zero, and radon. Two 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 triple two, okay. Two hundred twenty two. Electronic configuration. Then you know the now last orbit is filled. Last orbit is completely filled. For helium, one s square only two. Its uh, capacity is only for two, and it is filled one s square. And neon. Neon. It's a ten ten atomic number. Then helium 
and helium is given s square then you can write for one s square only helium you can write and after that 8 2 s square 2 p 6 fully filled or all noble gases have last orbit completely filled means 8 electron except helium helium has only 2 and uh, argon argon which is 18 electron then neon neon electronic configuration after that 3 s square 3 p 6 after that krypton krypton electronic configuration 36 atomic number 36 then argon electronic configuration and after that 3 d 10 4 s square 4 p 6 here you remember 3 d 10 3 d 10 you have to write okay 3 d 10 4 s square 4 p 6 like that way jnn 54 krypton electronic configuration and after that 4 d 10 3 d 10 was there in krypton now here 4 d 10 5 s square 5 p 6 and last is redden then genon electronic configuration and after that here f and d both are completely filled 4 f 14 5 d 10 6 square 6 square 6 p 6 means it starts with 4 f 5 d 6 square 6 p 4 f 14 f has maximum 14 capacity capacity it is filled 5 d 10 d has 10 capacity then 4 f 14 5 d 10 6 square 6 p 6 now atomic radius means size atomic radius is in picometer picometer means 10 to the power minus 12 centimeter okay then atomic radius of helium is 120 very small or in group as small as you can tell second is neon 160 argon is 190 krypton is 200 and genon is 220 redon is not found okay now ionization enthalpy ionization enthalpy, enthalpy means energy required to remove the electron it is in kilojoule per mole then uh, helium now see very high ionization energy or enthalpy you can tell it's very high 2372 2372 very high and uh, neon is little uh, somewhat less 2080 argon again further less 1520 because size is increasing hence it is easy to remove the electron krypton again less 1351 genon genon again less 1170 1170 and uh, redden further less means list 1037 because size is increasing now electron gain enthalpy that is also in kilojoule per mole means uh, to to take the electron how much energy is required Okay, electron gain, enthalpy gain, for to gain the electron, energy is required. Okay, then that I am telling you. For helium, it is 48. Actually, that uh, last orbit is filled. It does not want electron. Despite that, if electron is, is accommodated, then for that energy is required that's why name has been given electron gain enthalpy also called electron affinity okay then for helium its value is 48 kilojoule 
per mole and for neon 116 argon 96 krypton 96 both are same argon krypton same 96 96 xenon less 77 and radon further less 68 density density that is heaviness you can tell at stp standard temperature and pressure at stp okay that is in gram per centimeter cubic or ml you can tell gram centimeter cube minus 3 centimeter minus 3 then density means heaviness now you understand helium is light very light 1.8 into 10 to the power minus 4 gram per cc cubic centimeter 1.8 into 10 to the power minus 4 very less and neon is a heavier little heavier 9 9.0 into 10 to the power minus 4 and uh, argon is further heavier 1.8 into 10 to the power minus 3 minus 3 10 to the power minus 3 means heavier and uh, krypton again heavier 3.7 into 10 to the power minus 3 and xenon again heavier 5.9 into 10 to the power minus 3 and radon is among this heaviest 9.7 into 10 to the power minus 3 now melting point melting point for helium is not given okay and uh, for neon it is 24.6 kelvin All are in Kelvin, twenty-four point six Kelvin. It is very less, and argon is more, eighty-three point eight, and krypton is further more, hundred fifteen point nine, and xenon is further more, one sixty-one point three Kelvin, and radon is further more, two not two, because size is increasing now melting point i told you boiling point for helium is 4.2 kelvin 4.2 kelvin means it is very less but in kelvin i am talking about helium is 4.2 neon is 27.1 and argon is 87.2 more all are increasing helium 4.2 neon 27.1 argon 87.2 krypton 119.7 xenon 165.0 and radon 211 okay now i am talking about atmospheric content atmospheric content Uh, in percentage by volume then uh, helium is found 5.24 into 10 to the power minus 4 percent by volume very less 5.24 into 10 to the power minus 4 neon is not known not given and argon is uh, more 1.82 into 10 to the power minus 3 minus 3 means more in comparison to minus 4 and uh, krypton is further more 0.934 percent all are in percent uh, by volume and xenon is again less 1.14 into 10 to the power minus 4 and uh, radon 
Redden is, I told you, a very, very less negligible also you can tell, very less 8.7 into 10 to the power minus 6. Okay. Then, this I have discussed about atomic and physical properties of group 18 elements. Now, little more about electronic configuration. All novel gases have general electronic configuration NS2, NP6, except helium, which is which has 1s square. Okay. Question is asked, that's why I am telling you. Many of the properties of novel gases, including their inactive nature, are ascribed to their closed cell structure. Okay. Properties of novel gases, including their inactive nature, are due to their closed cell structure. Now, little more for ionization. Actually, I will tell ionization enthalpy, atomic ready, electron gain enthalpy, uh, just little more. Then now, ionization enthalpy. Due to a stable electronic configuration, these gases exhibit very high ionization enthalpy because it is stable. However, it decreases down the group with increase in atomic size. Now, atomic ready. Atomic ready increases down the group with increase in atomic number. Okay, question is asked that trend that's why i am telling you electron gain enthalpy since noble gases have a stable electronic configuration they have no tendency to accept the electron no tendency to accept the electron and therefore have large positive value of electron gain enthalpy because forcibly you will accommodate hence energy is required. Hence, they have large positive value of electron gain enthalpy. Now, I am telling about physical properties, physical properties of noble gases or group 18 elements. All the noble gases are monoatomic. Remember, this uh, noble gases are only gases which are atomic, monoatomic. Otherwise, all gases are uh, di or triatomic. All only, only you can say this uh, noble gases are are monoatomic gases. All are all are gases. Okay, in group group eighteen elements are gases all are gases question is asked then all the novel gases are monoatomic they are colorless odorless and tasteless they are sparingly soluble in water means it will almost not soluble very very less that's why it is called sparingly soluble in water they have very low melting and boiling points already i discussed because the only type of why it is less i am telling you because the only type of interatomic interaction in this element is weak dispersion forces only dispersion forces are working among gaseous molecules of noble gases only dispersion forces that's why it is weak. Uh, this uh, melting and boiling points are less because only one weak forces are working, dispersion forces. That's why it is its melting and boiling point is less. Helium has lowest boiling point, lowest 4.2 Kelvin of any known substances. This is again important. 
हीलियम इज द लोएस्ट बॉइलिंग पॉइंट ऑफ एनी नोन सब्सटांसेज इट हैज एन अनुज्वल प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ डिफ्यूजिंग थ्रू थ्रू मोस्ट कॉमनली यूज लेबोरेटरी मेटेरियल्स सच एज रबर ग्लास और प्लास्टिक इट कैन डिफ्यूज ए दिस आई हैव टोल्ड अबाउट द फिजिकल प्रॉपर्टीज नाउ केमिकल प्रॉपर्टीज बिकॉज इट विल नॉट रिएक्ट इट दीज गैसेज आर अनरिएक्टिव दैट्स वाई केमिकल प्रॉपर्टीज आर वेरी लेस बट सम एक्सेप्शंस आर देयर एंड देयर केमिकल रिएक्शंस आर वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन इज आस्ट एंड यू लिसन केयरफुली नाउ आई एम डिस्कसिंग केमिकल प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ नोबल गैसेज इन जनरल नोबल गैसेज आर लिस्ट रिएक्टिव देयर इनर्टनेस टू केमिकल रिएक्टिविटी इज एट्रीब्यूटेड टू द टू रीजन फर्स्ट द नोबल गैसेज एक्सेप्ट हिलियम हैव कंप्लीटली फिल्ड एन एस टू एन पी सिक्स इलेक्ट्रॉनिक कॉन्फिग्रेशन इन देयर वैलेंसिल दैट्स वाई इट इज नॉट रिएक्टिव सेकेंड रीजन दे हैव हाई आयनाइजेशन इन थाल्पी एंड मोर पॉजिटिव इलेक्ट्रॉन गेन इन थाल्पी गेन इलेक्ट्रॉन गेन इन थाल्पी दैट्स वाई दिस दे आर लिस्ट रिएक्टिव द रिएक्टिविटी ऑफ नोबल गैसेज हैज बीन इन्वेस्टिगेटेड ओकेजनली एवर सिंस देयर डिस्कवरी बट ऑल अटेम्प्ट टू फोर्स देम टू रिएक्ट टू फॉर्म द कंपाउंड वेयर अनसक्सेसफुल फॉर क्वाइट ए फ्यू ईयर्स इन मार्च नाइनटीन सिक्सटी टू नेल साइंटिस्ट नेम इज नेल एन ई आई एल नेल बाटलट देन एट यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ ब्रिटिश कोलंबिया ऑब्जर्व द रिएक्शन ऑफ नोबल गैसेज फर्स्ट टाइम इन नाइनटीन सिक्सटी टू दैट साइंटिस्ट नेल बाटल ही ऑब्जर्व रिएक्शन फर्स्ट ही प्रिपेयर्ड ए रेड कंपाउंड ही प्रिपेयर्ड ए रेड कंपाउंड विच इज फॉर्मुलेटेड एज ओ टू पी टी एफ सिक्स ओ टू प्लस just like a cation ptf6 that is the anion then this is the first you can say compound he pre- uh, he prepared he prepared first air actually this is the not halogen but from this he got first he prepared how did he got process i am telling you he prepared red compound which is formulated as O2 plus this is the like, like a cation PT PT F6 one minus first he prepared this compound and after that he then realized that the first ionization enthalpy of molecular oxygen 11175 kilo joule per mole was almost identical that of jenan jenan has 1170 kilo joule per mole per mole that is the uh, enthalpy ionization enthalpy for uh, molecular oxygen and uh, that of jenan were almost equal then he has this this value has encouraged him he made effort to prepare same type of compound with jenan and oxygen cause oxygen and jenan have almost same ionization enthalpy question is asked okay oxygen and jenan oxygen that is the first molecular i am talking of that uh, first ionization enthalpy of molecular oxygen not atom molecular oxygen 
and Jnan was almost same. Correct? Then he made effort to prepare same type of compound with Jnan and was successful in preparing another red color compound. And what is the name of the compound? That was the Jnan Xe plus Pt F6 minus. Same way like O2 plus Pt F6 minus. In the place of O2, now Jnan is there. Then just by mixing Pt F6, platinum hexafluoride and Jnan. Simply that he mixed and he got this compound. After this discovery, a number of Jnan compound, Jnan compound, uh, mainly with most electronegative elements like fluorine and oxygen, oxygen have been synthesized. In our understanding, that when a, when a compound can be formed by oxygen, oxygen is electronegative, then why not with fluorine? Why not with fluorine? Hence, uh, many, many number of ox uh, general compounds, uh, mainly with uh, most electronegative elements uh, uh, like fluorine and oxygen have been synthesized. The compound of krypton, this I told about the genon. Now, krypton you can see. The compounds of kryptons are fewer. Only the difluoride, KRF2, KRF2, krypton difluoride has been studied in details. Compounds of radon have not been isolated. Compounds of radon have not been isolated but only identified as RNF2. RNF2 identified but chemistry has not been studied. It is uh, this uh, not isolated only identified RNF2 by radio tracer technique. No true compounds of uh, argon, neon or helium are yet known. Okay. Argon, neon, helium are not yet known. No compound, no true compounds. Only that only for Jnan, Krypton and Redon. In that main is the Jnan. Then uh, what are the compounds? I will tell you about the compound formed by Jnan and fluorine. This is the main compound formed by Jnan and fluorine. Okay, I am telling that things. Then three compounds are common. Jnan forms a three binary fluoride. Binary, binary means two. Three, three compound formed. Three com uh, compound of fluoride, Jnan and fluoride. First is Jnan difluoride, Jnan difluoride, Jnan tetrafluoride and Jnan hexafluoride, two, two difference. By the direct reaction of elements under appropriate experimental condition to prepare the compound, temperature and pressure condition was applied. Then Jnan if you take genin in excess and fluorine is little less genin plus fluorine but here genin is, genin is in excess temperature is 673 kelvin pressure is 1 bar 1 bar then that uh, solid genin fluoride was formed genin f2 XeF2, Jnan difluoride. Similarly, if you will take uh, Jnan and fluorine in 1 is to 5 ratio, 11 is to 5, not 11, 1 is to 5 ratio. If Jnan and fluorine is taken in, taken uh, uh, in uh, 1 is to 5 ratio, then Jnan 
टेट्राफ्लोराइड सॉलिड वॉज फॉर्म ऑल थ्री आर सॉलिड डोंट फॉर गेट जेनन एंड जेनन प्लस टू एफ टू टेम्परेचर इज मोर एट सेवेंटी थ्री कैलविन एंड प्रेशर इज सेवन बार हाई प्रेशर देन जेनन टेट्राफ्लोराइड एक्सी एफ ओ एफ फोर वॉज फॉर्म दिस इज सॉलिड एंड रेशियो ऑफ जेनन एंड फ्लोरिन वॉज वन इज टू फाइव नाउ इफ यू विल टेक जेनन एंड फ्लोरिन रेशियो वन इज टू ट्वेंटी मीन्स फ्लोरिन मोर एंड जेनन लेस वन इज टू ट्वेंटी रेशियो मीन्स जेनन प्लस थ्री एफ टू एक्स ई प्लस थ्री एफ टू देन यू विल गेट एक्स ई एफ सिक्स मीन्स जेनन जेनन हेक्सा फ्लोराइड एंड टेम्परेचर इज फाइव सेवेंटी थ्री कैलविन फाइव सेवेंटी मीन्स टू हंड्रेड डिग्री सेंटीग्रेड यू कैन टेल एंड प्रेशर इज वेरी वेरी हाई सिक्सटी टू सेवेंटी सिक्सटी टू सेवेंटी वार बिटवीन सिक्सटी टू सेवेंटी वार ओके देन यू विल गेट जेनन हेक्सा फ्लोराइड जेनन हेक्सा फ्लोराइड कैन ऑल्सो बी प्रिपेयर बाई इंटरेक्शन ऑफ जेनन फ्लोराइड एंड ओ टू एफ टू जेनन फ्लोराइड एक्सी एफ फोर प्लस ओ टू एफ टू एट वन फोर्टी थ्री कैलविन एक्स ई एफ सिक्स कैन बी ऑल्सो प्रिपेयर जेनन एक्सा हेक्सा फ्लोराइड रिएक्शन इज वेरी सिंपल जे एक्सी एफ फोर प्लस ओ टू एफ टू इट विल गिव एक्सी एफ सिक्स एफ सिक्स जेनन हेक्सा फ्लोराइड प्लस ओ टू देन एक्स एक्स ई एफ टू एक्स ई एफ फोर एंड एक्स ई एफ सिक्स आर कलरलेस क्रिस्टल आइन सॉलिड्स एंड सबलाइम रेडली इट सबलाइम्स रेडली एट टू नाइंटी एट कैलविन दे आर पावरफुल फ्लोरिनेटिंग एजेंट्स मीन्स इट कैन सप्लाई फ्लोरिन इट दे आर पावरफुल फ्लोरिनेटिंग एजेंट्स दे आर रेडली हाइड्रोलाइज इवन बाई ट्रेस ऑफ वाटर फॉर एग्जाम्पल जेन एन डाईफ्लोराइड इज हाइड्रोलाइज टू गिव जेन एन एच एफ एंड ओ टू मीन्स टू जेन एन टू मोलिकुल्स ऑफ जेन एन फ्लोराइड जेन एन डाईफ्लोराइड प्लस टू एच टू ओ इट गिव्स टू जेन एन मीन्स टू एक्सी एक्स इज द गैस प्लस फोर एच एफ एक्वस इन एक्वस सोल्यूशन इट विल गिव एक्वस प्लस ओ टू जेन एन डाईफ्लोराइड टू एक्स ई एफ टू प्लस टू एस टू ओ इट गिव टू एक्स ई प्लस फोर एच एफ एक्वस प्लस ओ टू ओ टू नो इट इज गैस द स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ थ्री जेन एन फ्लोराइड्स कैन बी डिड्यूस्ड फ्रॉम भी एस ई पी आर थ्यूरी बैलेंस सेल इलेक्ट्रॉन पेयर रिपल्शन थ्यूरी एंड आई विल टेल अबाउट द स्ट्रक्चर जेन एन डाईफ्लोराइड एंड जेन एन टेट्राफ्लोराइड हैव लीनियर एंड स्क्वायर प्लेनर स्ट्रक्चर रेस्पेक्टिवली जेन एन डाईफ्लोराइड एक्सी एफ टू इज ए लीनियर एंड एक्सी एफ फोर आर स्क्वायर प्लेनर स्ट्रक्चर एंड वाट अबाउट एक्स ई एफ सिक्स देन एक्स ई एफ सिक्स हैज सेवन इलेक्ट्रॉन पेयर्स सेवन इलेक्ट्रॉन पेयर्स मीन्स सिक्स बॉन्डिंग पेयर्स सिक्स बॉन्डिंग पेयर्स एक्चुअली एट इलेक्ट्रॉन्स आर देयर जेन एन एल एट इलेक्ट्रॉन्स देन सिक्स इज इन्वॉल्व इन मेकिंग बॉन्ड विथ फ्लोरिन वन वन इलेक्ट्रॉन ईच ओके देन सिक्स इलेक्ट्रॉन इज यूज अप एंड टू इलेक्ट्रॉन इज इज रिमेनिंग एज ए लोन पेयर ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन देन एक्सी एप एफ सिक्स हैज सेवन इलेक्ट्रॉन पेयर सिक्स बॉन्डिंग पेयर्स एंड वन लोन पेयर सिक्स बॉन्डिंग पेयर सिक्स इंटू टू ट्वेल्व एंड लोन पेयर टू इलेक्ट्रॉन देन टोटल नाउ सिक्स प्लस टू एट बट विल काउंट बॉन्डिंग पेयर देन सिक्स इंटू टू ट्वेल्व 
and plus 2 total 14 and would thus have a distorted octahedral structure x e f 6 is a octahedral structure as found experimentally in the gas phase but it is found in gaseous phase question is asked then x c f 6 is octahedral structure and it is found in gaseous phase Genon fluoride Genon fluoride react with fluoride fluoride ion acceptor fluoride ion acceptor listen where they are reacting genon fluorides all three it will react with only with fluorine fluoride ion genon fluorides means uh, uh, means all three i am talking about all three uh, genon uh, genon fluorides react with fluorides ion fluorides ion acceptor fluoride ion acceptor this fluoride ion will uh, this accept and after uh, this uh, fluoride or you simply tell it reacts with fluoride ion itself then after after uh, this uh, reaction with fluoride ion it will form cationic species it will form cationic species and uh, fluoride ion donors it will react with fluoride ion acceptor and fluoride ion donor okay reaction i am telling you xef2 xef2 plus pf5 phosphorus pentafluoride then now what will happen this phosphorus pentafluoride it will accept the electron uh, fluorine from the genon fluoride it will take one fluoride ion then it will form negative negative anion negative anion means uh, pf6 pf5 was there now it became pf6 negative then obviously xe xef2 now it became xcf positive it is cation and pf6 is anion similar way xef4 it will react with sbf5 antimony pentafluoride antimony pentafluoride sbf5 then again same way one fluorine sbf5 will accept then it will form sbf6 1 minus and xcf4 now it will become xef3 1 plus means cation after taking accepting fluoride ion antimony became anion sbf61 minus and genon now it become positive xcf3 okay then just like a salt it is forming salt cation and anion now third reaction xcf6 plus mf plus mf now this mf will donate fluorine and itself will become m plus because it is giving fluoride ion then m will become m plus and genon f6 xe f6 now will become xe f7 1 minus xe f7 1 minus then reaction you can write very easily xe f6 plus mf m means metal metal may be sodium potassium rubidium cesium means group one group one metals then xe f6 plus mf it will form m plus xe f7 1 minus correct m plus xe f7 1 minus means they are forming salt now another reaction i am telling you reaction between genon and oxygen genon and oxygen compounds i am telling you okay then hydrolysis of xef4 hydrolysis of xef4 and xef6 with water gives genon oxide xeo3 
रिमेंबर इट ऑक्सीजन कंपाउंड कंपाउंड ऑफ ऑक्सीजन एंड जेन एन एक्स सी ओ थ्री रिमेंबर ऑलवेज एक्स सी ओ थ्री क्वेश्चन इज आस्ड देन हाइड्रोलाइसिस ऑफ एक्स ई एफ फोर एंड एक्स ई एफ सिक्स विथ वाटर फॉर्म विथ वाटर फॉर्म एक्स ई ओ थ्री रिएक्शन आई एम टेलिंग यू सिक्स एक्स ई एफ फोर बैलेंस इक्वेशन सिक्स एक्स ई एफ फोर प्लस ट्वेल्व एच टू ओ इट गिव्स फोर एक्स ई जेन एन गैस प्लस टू एक्स ई ओ थ्री जेन एन ऑक्साइड मेन प्रोडक्ट प्लस ट्वेंटी फोर एच एफ प्लस थ्री ओ टू मीन्स हेयर प्रोडक्ट्स आर फोर प्रोडक्ट्स इट इज गिविंग रिमेंबर वेरी लेस रिएक्शंस आर देयर विच गिव्स फोर प्रोडक्ट ओके वेरी लेस रिएक्शंस आर देयर देन हेयर यू विल गेट फोर प्रोडक्ट्स मीन्स इफ जेन एन टेट्राफ्लाइड विल रिएक्ट विद वाटर इट विल गिव्स फोर प्रोडक्ट वाट आर दैट फोर प्रोडक्ट देन जेन एन फर्स्ट प्रोडक्ट जेन एन ऑक्साइड सेकेंड प्रोडक्ट हाइड एच एफ थर्ड प्रोडक्ट ऑक्सीजन गैस फोर्थ प्रोडक्ट देन बैलेंस इक्वेशन अगेन आई एम रिपीटिंग सिक्स एक्स ई एफ फोर प्लस ट्वेल्व एच टू ओ इट गिव्स फोर एक्स ई प्लस टू एक्स ई ओ थ्री प्लस ट्वेंटी फोर एच एफ प्लस थ्री ओ टू ओके एंड नाउ अदर रिएक्शन एक्स ई एफ सिक्स प्लस थ्री एच टू ओ एक्स ई एफ सिक्स प्लस थ्री एच टू ओ इट गिव्स अगेन एक्स सी ओ थ्री प्लस सिक्स एच एफ ओके नाउ पार्शियल हाइड्रोलाइसिस पार्शियल हाइड्रोलाइसिस ऑफ एक्स सी एफ सिक्स गिव्स ऑक्सी फ्लोराइड थ्री प्रोडक्ट इट विल गिव पार्शियल हाइड्रोलाइसिस ऑफ एक्स सी एफ सिक्स गिव्स ऑक्सी फ्लोराइड्स जेन एन एफ फोर एंड जेन एन ओ टू एफ टू जेन एन एक्स सी ओ टू एफ टू ओके थ्री थ्री प्रोडक्ट इट विल गिव पार्शियल एडलाइसिस ऑफ जेन एन हेक्सा फ्लोराइड गिव्स है ऑक्सी फ्लोराइड इट कैन गिव एक्स सी ओ एफ फोर एंड एक्स सी ओ टू एफ टू रिएक्शन आई एम टेलिंग यू एक्स सी एफ सिक्स प्लस एच टू ओ पार्सल एडोलाइसिस इट विल गिव एक्स सी ओ एफ फोर एक्स सी ओ एफ फोर ओके प्लस टू एच एफ एक्स सी ओ एफ फोर डोंट फॉर गेट नॉट इट इज ओनली एक्स सी फोर एक्स सी ओ फोर ऑक्सी फ्लोराइड है जेन एन ऑक्सी टेट्राफ्लोराइड प्लस टू एच एफ एंड एक्स सी एफ सिक्स प्लस टू एच टू ओ बोथ आर पार्शियल एडोलाइसिस तो नाउ एक्स सी एफ एक्स सी एफ सिक्स प्लस टू एच टू ओ इट गिव्स एक्स सी ओ टू एफ टू फर्स्ट प्रोडक्ट वाइज एक्स सी ओ एफ फोर ओ वन ऑक्सीजन नाउ हेयर यू आर गेटिंग टू ऑक्सीजन एक्स सी ओ टू एफ टू प्लस फोर एच एफ नाउ आई एम टेलिंग अबाउट द डिस्टेंस दिस मोर अबाउट एक्स सी ओ थ्री एक्स सी ओ थ्री इज ए कलरलेस एक्सप्लोसिव सॉलिड रिमेंबर इट इज एक्सप्लोसिव सॉलिड एक्स ई ओ थ्री इज ए कलरलेस एक्सप्लोसिव सॉलिड एंड हैज ए पिरामिडल मोलकुलर स्ट्रक्चर एक्स सी ओ एफ फोर एक्स सी ओ एफ फोर इज ए कलरलेस भोलाटाइल लिक्विड एक्स ई ओ एफ फोर एक्स सी ओ एफ फोर इज ए कलरलेस भोलाटाइल लिक्विड एंड इज ए स्क्वायर प्लेनर मोलकुलर स्ट्रक्चर नाउ आई एम टेलिंग लिटिल मोर अबाउट द स्ट्रक्चर देन दिस जेन एन डाइफ्लोराइड एक्स सी एफ टू इट इज ए लीनियर स्ट्रक्चर ओके इजली यू कैन अंडरस्टैंड एक्चुअली जेन एन हैज एट इलेक्ट्रॉन यू नो ऑल गैस ऑल नोवल गैसेज हैज एट इलेक्ट्रॉन्स देन टू दे हैव यूज 
in making the bond with two flor two fluorine atom then six are remaining then these six are as a lone pair of electron and it is a because only two bond it is making it is a linear means 180 degree now a square planar a square planar means xef4 structure i am talking about xef4 then now same way now they are making bond with four electrons a uh, four fluorine atoms four fluorine atoms then out of eight four is used up then now four are remaining then two lone pair of electrons are remaining two lone pair of electrons jn and bela have two lone pair of electrons and these four atom of fluorines are in a square shape in the middle jn is there and all four corners of a square fluoride ions are fluor fluorines are there that's why it is called a square planar now i am telling about uh, xe f7 structure xe f xe xe f6 xe f6 structure then now it is also easy to write and tell 6 because x e f6 are there then 6 electron of jn is used up in making the bond with 6 fluorine atoms and two are remaining as lone pair then this structure means uh, here 6 uh, 6 uh, uh, fluorine atoms are arranged just like a circle just like a circle jnn is in the middle then this is actually distorted octahedral six are there na six fluorine atoms that's why octahedral jnn is in the middle and jnn has one lone of electron then this is actually distorted octahedral now xco xeo f4 this structure i am telling you x e o f4 this is actually a square pyramidal then here jnn actually used four electrons to make bond with four fluorine atom four is used up in the just like in the shape of a square you know two left side to right side in the middle jnn is there now four electron used up two electron they have used up with oxygen atom double bond jnn and oxygen double bond then now six is over six electron two lo two lone pair electron is there on jnn that is as a lone pair of electron then this is called a square pyramidal a square pyramidal now come to the uh, xeo3 a structure of xeo3 jnn trioxide xeo3 then now it is very easy to understand jnn has eight electron then now three oxygen it is joined with three oxygen double double bond all three are double then six electron used up and uh, two electron is as a lone pair then uh, jnn is upside and down all three are there they are making angle equal angle with each other okay down and uh, it is called pyramidal structure jnn xeo3 as a pyramidal structure and uh, now one question is asked uh, this uh, question i will tell you first does the hydrolysis of xef6 lead to redox reaction redox means reduction oxidation question again i am telling you question may be asked or sometimes it was asked does the hydrolysis of xef6 
lead to a redox reaction means it will go as a redox reaction <laughs> this is the question explanation i am telling no no it can't go redox reaction why that i am telling you the products of hydrolysis are xeof4 and xeo2f2 after the hydrolysis it is giving two products xeof4 and xeo2f2 where the oxidation states of all the elements all the elements remain the same as what as was in the reacting state because this has not changed oxidation state not change hence why hence uh, you can tell there is no change in uh, oxidation state hence uh, there will be no redox redox reaction for the redox reaction oxidation state must change okay now i am telling about application uses uses helium is a non inflammable and light gas it is a light gas okay hence it is used in filling balloons for meteorological observation it is also used in gas cooled nuclear reactor here i want to tell you h2 gas sometimes question is asked which gas is lighter h2 or helium h2 or helium then h2 gas h2 is also gas helium is also gas which gas is more lighter h2 or helium then you can compare it with uh, mass okay you can compare it with mass atomic mass uh, this 1.008 1.008 for hydrogen then h2 two atoms are there then 2 into 1.008 like that way helium you can compare what is its atomic mass okay then whose mass is more that is the heavier which is less that will be least exact atomic two helium has two but exact you can see and uh, then you can compare okay now i am telling you that uh, liquid helium liquid helium uh, boiling point 4.2 kelvin liquid heli- liquid helium its a boiling point is 4.2 kelvin then liquid helium finds uses use as cryogenic agent cryogenic means cold related to cold liquid helium because its boiling point is 4.2 kelvin very very less find uses as cryogenic agent for carrying out various experiment at low temperature it is used to produce and sustain powerful superconducting magnets very very important application use it is used helium i am talking it is used to produce and sustain powerful superconducting magnets which form an essential part of modern nmr spectrometer it is used to produce and sustain powerful superconducting magnets which form this magnet form an essential part of modern nmr nuclear magnetic resonance and mri magnetic resonance here magnet is used that magnet a special magnet powerful superconducting magnet is used in nmr and in mri magnetic resonance imagine 
for clinical diagnosis. It is used as a diluent for oxygen in modern diving apparatus because of its very low solubility in blood. Uh, helium does not dissolve very less, very less, very low solubility in blood. That's why it is used as a diluent for oxygen in modern diving apparatus because of its very low solubility in blood. Now come to the neon. Neon. Neon is used in a discharge tube. Neon is used in discharge tubes and fluorescent bulbs for advertisement display. For advertisement display purposes. This is application of neon. Neon is used in discharge tubes and fluorescent bulbs for advertisement display purpose. Neon bulbs are used in botanical garden and in greenhouses. Okay. Now come to the argon. Argon is used mainly to provide an inert atmosphere in high temperature metallurgical processes as for example arc welding of metals and alloys there argon gas is used because it is inert gas then argon is used mainly to provide an inert atmosphere in high temperature metallurgical purposes then in arc welding high temperature is required then there argon is used question is asked and also it is used for filling electric bulbs electric bulb because it is unreactive non-reactive hence it is used for filling electric bulbs it is also used in the laboratory for handling substances that are air sensitive air sensitive because inert gas will be there argon then it will not react there are no significant usage of Janan and Krypton. No significant usage of Janan and Krypton. They are used in light bulbs designed for a special purposes. And uh, this uh, group 18 I have finished. Okay. Next class I will discuss or I will start a new new topic new topic that is the the D and F block elements that is your unit 8 thank you